Mark, uh, back in Lauren tonight for um, a charity match, but have you, you hung up your, your boots for good competitively? I am a half. Uh, three years ago with work, I work in the post office, so I have to work at 3.30 on a Saturday, so I'm playing play three seasons now. Have you missed it or missed the buzz of the sort of competitive game? Um, not really. I played the last year with a bit of an injury, so I knew that work was going to be changing and you know, it was just time to give up good memories to look back on. Yeah, obviously with, with Lauren, um, there was plenty went on in terms of promotion and cup finals and, and things like that. Is there anything that sticks out uh, in your mind more than anything else? Um, a few of the matches, you know, the day down at Bangor and then the reception when we came back to Inver. And obviously the cup semi-final at the Oval against Balamina. It was a great day. Um, you got the goal um, against Spanger that day as well. Was it was it maybe one of the, the tensest games you've you've played in um, over your career? I think it was. Yeah, um, we got the goal in the first half. I think I remember, and then it was really just hanging on then because Spanger needed the win, and they would have went up instead of us. Yeah, it was a real sort of last day um, shootout. I mean, Bangor you know, went on to lose the playoff. It's hard to know what would have happened with us, but it was really sort of you know all or nothing on that day, wasn't it? I think it was, and I think when you look back, you know, there was four teams that went up that year, and that was their target that Tommy, the manager, then set us, and we ended up achieving it on the last day. And going back, sort of, do you do your time arriving at um, Lauren? You, you signed for uh, for Tommy. What what brought you to the club? Was it Tommy himself? I think it was just to play regular first team football. Um, I, was, I came back to the Irish League and started off in Uri. Um Had a decent enough first season. Second season wasn't getting in, so. Um, just came to learn to play football and like what Tommy said. You maybe sort of didn't imagine what would happen over, over the next few years in, in terms of you know the goals that you scored and sort of the status that you, you earned yourself at the club. I don't suppose you could have foreseen that? No, not really. Um, just came to play football and you know, work, hard work, good training with Tommy and you know a good team was built up. Um, in terms of moving on, then you, you went to Linfield um, and had a, had a really good time there as well. Um, yeah, I went to Linfield. That was the team. I live right beside the stadium and the team that I've always supported. So I went there and lucky enough was uh, ended up winning five trophies over the two seasons. And Crusaders as well um, after after Linfield? Yeah, Crusaders was a move that I took to get more regular first team football playing up front again. So it worked out well. There are one, two trophies in the two seasons that I spent at CV. Uh, and any maybe anything that you wish had gone differently in sort of in your time in the Irish League or anything maybe you would have changed if you had your time again? Um, not really. Probably being a Linfield supporter, I would have went to Linfield earlier than stayed longer. But I enjoyed all the clubs that I was at, and I had good good success at them all. And anything maybe that that you learnt um, from the game in terms of you know playing uh, for for as long as you did? I think just the main thing as a player, enjoy it, give everything you've got, and you know. They'll hold you in good stead. Um, looking back on, on Lauren again, obviously we're in a similar sort of position um, to, to when you join you in terms of looking for promotion and looking to, to get back into the big time. Is, is there anything maybe that, that sort of stood out, you know, during that promotion season or anything in the build up to it that you really thought was, you know, was important and, and you know, helped you get over the line? I think it was uh, that season Tommy had settled in. You know, he had built the squad, he brought players in a bit like what David's doing now. So. I would say that the hopes, you know, hopes for the season should be high. And you still keep an eye on there. Actually, you were at Inver Park at least once last season. So who sort of who catches your eye at the minute, or what, you know, where do you go when you have a Saturday afternoon? Um, first choice would be Linfield Crusaders, and then Lauren. So I'm off one Saturday every six. So whoever's at home, really. And no, um, no sort of itchy feet either to get back in playing, or maybe even coaching, or you know, any sort of involvement in the game like that. For but the last. Year and a half I've been involved uh, coaching the field ladies, the forwards there, so it uh, sort of fits in quite well with work. It doesn't involve salaries, so that's why I'm not in the men's game. You maybe not rule anything out in the future if um, if work changed in terms of playing or coaching or anything like that. I don't think I'll, I'm 32 now, so I don't plan to come back playing. But salaries are still the main part of work, so I don't see anything changing. And uh, games like tonight, I suppose it's nice to just to, to pull on the boots again when you, you get the chance and get a 90 minutes under your belt. Yeah, I just love playing football, so you know it's great to get out there with them and have a bit of fun. OK, Mark, thanks very much. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks.